everyone, it's Sammy and welcome to another Freckled Fawn video. Today I want to show you guys how I just made some really quick inserts for my Sleek Traveler's Notebook. This is one of the new Freckled Fawn notebooks. I do have all four of the Sleek ones here. These are now shipping and they all have the two elastics and no pockets on the front. There is a pocket version. It will be shipping very soon. So we've got the pink bows, the teal, and then the diamond one. And so I just made my inserts for this black heart one. And today I wanna to make an insert for my pink notebook. So I'm gonna show you guys the step-by-steps um, how to make a notebook. Now these ones are unbound. I have not yet bound them. I will do a separate tutorial on um, binding your notebook. So for just this tutorial, I have two of these notebooks and they are unbound. I just stuck them in here. So for this one, I've got some um, grid paper in here and I've just used a old paper from my stash to cover that one. And then for this one, I grabbed a newer paper. This is a pink paisley paper um, that's more recent. And I just really liked the black and white looks of these with the black and white on the notebook. It just looked really nicely together. So for this one, I just used some thick white cardstock. I couldn't get nearly as many pages in because it was a really thick white cardstock and this grid paper is super thin. So you can see I actually have more pages in the grid notebook than I do the white notebook and it is much, much thinner. So I had two techniques to cut these down. So first you're gonna need a piece of paper for your cover. You can use just craft paper, whatever kind of paper you want. I have this Echo Park Dots and Stripes paper that's been in my stash for a long time. It's one of my favorite just everyday um, patterns. It's got the stripes and the polka dots. So I'm gonna cover mine with the stripe side. I'm gonna go ahead and use grid paper. This is engineering paper. So I just um, ended up grabbing a few sheets out of it last time. I'm just gonna grab a nice little chunk here. So we're gonna be cutting our notebook down to 4.75 by eight inches, and that just fit really nicely. It left a little bit of room so you could add tabs and mark pages and stuff and still have some room inside your notebook. You could make them definitely a little bit bigger and closer to the edges if that's what you prefer. I wanted mine to be nice and tucked in so that um, all the edges would stay nice and clean. I had two ways of cutting, and so it really depends on uh, what your cutting capabilities are. I had an X-Acto knife with a metal ruler. This is just one of those right angle metal rulers. I pulled this out of my husband's um, toolbox uh, because I needed an edge to use with my X-Acto knife that wouldn't cut. The, the cheapy ruler I have, usually in my scrapbook room, uh, it does actually cut into. So I needed that thicker edge. So I just lined it up where I wanted to cut and then cut. And then I also, just used my paper trimmer. Um, I was able to use my paper trimmer for this thinner paper and I needed to use the ruler and X-Acto knife technique for um, the thicker white cardstock notebook. So you can use either method that you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and just use my big chopper here. It's just a guillotine style trimmer and then make sure it's all nice and even before I slice. All right, and then I press that part down and then slice. So then I'm just going to fold this. I'm just going to fold it all together because I'm gonna slice off both edges of this. And you will notice um, when I'm folding it, the edges start poking out and that's what we're gonna end up trimming. I'm gonna just make sure I rub that crease really nicely. You could definitely use a bone folder for this. I'm just gonna use my cheapy ruler to make sure I'm gonna really Nice crease on that corner. All right, and then I'm just gonna trim off the edge and you can see I might not have folded it exactly evenly or the papers weren't exactly even on here. They are a little bit um, slippery, so I will trim that edge just a little bit more as well. They weren't exactly right. So I'm gonna trim this edge first. And then I'm going to line my book up at 4.75 and then trim off all the edges. So here's my little notebook. 
can always bind this with staples and I'll show you a technique on how to bind it with some twine in a video coming up very soon. But I just wanted to share this with you guys today because I was super duper excited to be able to make my own inserts really quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this one in my pink bow traveler's notebook. I just open it to the very middle and then I'm gonna slide it in. And once it's slid in here, those pages aren't going anywhere. So it really doesn't matter if you're gonna keep it in your notebook, if it's bound or not. It's if you're gonna be moving them in and out, changing traveler's notebooks, it'll definitely be easier to bind them. Here's my cute little notebook. I really just love the way it looks. I really like that I can cut them with my guillotine style trimmer, but if I wanna make them thicker, I definitely have to use the ruler technique where you uh, line up the ruler exactly where you want it, press really, really hard and cut with your straight edge and you have to repeatedly cut. I've seen people do this with one of those rotary cutters um, that you know quilters use. I definitely would recommend a rotary cutter versus the X-Acto knife if you've got one because it'll be a lot quicker of a process. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Like I said, the sleek traveler's notebooks are already available in the store, so go ahead and pick one up and the pocket style are available for pre-order. So you can also go ahead and pre-order those. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you're excited about travelers and notebook tutorials and videos, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye guys.